In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Overwatch 2 black screen issues and also graphics problems like blurriness, pixelization in game and also textures not loading. So before we get started I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like this video and it helps you out then you can help us out by subscribing to the channel. So the first thing that you need to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date and we can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to settings. Next you need to click on update and security and you now need to click on the check for updates button. Allow this to run and if Windows does detect any new updates it will then install them. Also if you do have any optional updates available then download and install those as well. Before we go any further I just want to quickly say I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do which may have more methods on things that you can do to fix the graphics issues that you're having. So once you've updated Windows the next thing that you need to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you're not too sure on how to update your graphics card driver, I will pop some links in the description below to some guides that we have done on how you can do this. And if you want to find out what graphics card you have in your system, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You then need to expand display adapters and as you can see there I have an Nvidia graphics card. So I'd need to go to the Nvidia website and download the correct driver for my graphics card. So like I said, the links are in the description below on how you can update your graphics card driver if you're not too sure. Also, I will pop the links in the description below to the Nvidia website, AMD and also Intel where you can grab the driver for your GPU. So once you've updated your graphics card driver, you now need to click on the link in the description below to go to the Microsoft website to download the latest files for DirectX. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You then need to scroll down and select your language and then press download. You then need to run the setup file. You now need to press I accept if you agree to the terms and then press next. And if you want to install Bing then keep this checkbox ticked. If you don't then deselect it and then press next again. It will now check to see if there are any new files available for DirectX and if it does detect any then it will install them. And as you can see, I do already have the latest DirectX files, which is fantastic. I can now press finish. Now that you've updated Windows, your graphics driver, and also DirectX, go ahead and launch Overwatch 2 and see if that fixed the black screen issue you've been having or the graphics issues. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is right click on your desktop. And you then need to go to display settings. You then need to scroll down. You now need to lower your display resolution. So if you're using a really high resolution, then lower it down. So as you can see, I'm using 1920 by 1080. If you're using something higher than that, then lower it down to 1920 by 1080. You could always go down to 1280 by 1024 as well, if you wanted. So just have a little play of the resolutions until you come across a resolution that actually looks decent and then try launching the game again. Once you've done that, and if that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is go back to this area and you then need to scroll down and click on advanced display settings. Next, you need to change the refresh rate. So as you can see, I'm currently using 144. You either need to raise your refresh rate or lower it. So I'm currently using the maximum. So I would actually lower mine down to 60 and then launch the game again and see if that helped. So if changing the resolution and the refresh rate didn't help, the next thing that you need to do is go back but stay in the display section scroll down and just make sure that your scale and layout is set to 100%. If it's not, then change it back to 100%, log out of Windows or actually restart Windows would be better and then try launching Overwatch 2 again. If you've changed the scale within Nvidia's control panel or AMD, then you will need to change the scale within the control panel. So I will quickly show you this in both panels on how to change it. I will bring it up on the screen now. So on the Nvidia control panel, expand display, select adjust desktop size and position, and then find scaling as you can see it's here, and then make sure it's on no scaling, and then press apply. Then click on yes, and once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game again. If you're using an AMD graphics card, then you need to open up the AMD software. You then need to select display, and you then need to toggle GPU scaling to off. And again, go ahead and launch Overwatch 2. So if that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do within the control panels, so if you're an Nvidia user, is to turn off G-Sync. So as you can see here, it says set up G-Sync under display. You need to go ahead and turn this to off. Once you've unticked that checkbox, press apply. 
and then press yes, and now go ahead and launch Overwatch 2. And again, if you're an AMD user, then you need to go onto the AMD software again, and then select the display tab, and you then need to toggle AMD FreeSync to disabled. And then again, launch Overwatch 2 and see if that helped fix the issue. So the next thing that you need to do if you're using an AMD graphics card is keep the AMD software open and you then need to select the graphics tab. You then need to scroll all the way down and expand advanced and you then need to scroll down again and click on restart shader cache. So we need to click on perform a reset and then go OK. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game again. If you're an Nvidia user, you need to open up File Explorer. You now need to select the address bar and do the percentage symbol and type in local app data and then do the percentage symbol again and press enter. You then need to go down to N and you then need to open up the Nvidia folder and you then need to go into each one of these folders and delete everything within the folder. So the first folder is the DX cache. If you can't delete some of the files then that's fine, it's because they're currently in use like I'm using this video, so one of these files might be for OBS Studio. You then need to go back and then open up the GL folder and then delete everything in here as well. We now need to select local again and you then need to go down and open up the Nvidia Corporation folder. If you can see an NV underlying cache folder within here, then you need to delete everything within that folder as well. If you can't see this folder, then don't worry about it. So once you've done that, now go ahead and launch Overwatch 2 again. So the next thing that we need to do is go to our documents folder and you then need to find the overwatch folder and right click on it and go rename. You then need to add BK to the end and then press enter and this is going to reset all your in-game graphics settings back to the default values. Now go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixed the issue that you're currently having with the graphics or black screen. If that didn't help then the next thing that we need to do is open up the battle.net app. You can also rename this Overwatch folder back if you want to and delete the new folder that got created if you want to restore your old settings, if the method didn't work. Once the battle.net app has opened, you now need to open up your games and you then need to select Overwatch 2. You now need to click on the settings cog next to the play button and you will then see an option for scan and repair. You need to click onto this and then go begin scan. This is now going to make sure that none of the game files have become either corrupted or missing. If it does detect an issue, then it will attempt to repair those files. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. Like I said at the start of the video, if the methods in the video didn't unfortunately help you out, then check out the link in the description below to a guide that we will do, which will hopefully have more methods and things that you can do to fix these issues with black screen and graphics problems. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.